What's up, party people? I'm MozerRS, and today we are going to be going over all the changes that were made to DK, uh, DK Square with uh, Decron's Action 23 update. And there are a ton of changes, 12 to be exact, that I'm going to be going over. Uh, first off, though, before I get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Madara Sun. Uh, Madara Sun, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, this person provided me with the vast majority of the information that I'm going to be giving you in this video, so thank you so much for that. Anyway, let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to notice in DK Square is there is a massive map overhaul. The map looks completely different uh, compared to how it used to look. There used to be three different stones that each team had to go to, a center point and bases, and while there's still a center point and bases, uh, there's no longer three stones that you're going to be going to. Now there is only one that each team has to go after. So that is that is a huge change. So you'll see that the map looks different. It actually looks really cool, though. It's kind of got this dark theme to it, and I am really digging it. So the second change you're going to see is that uh, if you die three times while in DK Square, you will be kicked from the game and you will be giving the Berserk status, which means you can't join again for, I believe, 20 minutes. Um, I'm not sure if this is something that's going to stay or not. I mean, maybe it's to prevent people from abusing the kill system, you know, because there is a quest where you get a Z-Coin if you kill 30 players. So if someone runs two accounts in and then just kills their own account 30 times, I could see that being abused. So maybe that's why it's in it. Um, honestly, I think it kind of adds kind of an edge to it and it makes it a, a little bit harder. So I'm not against it. I think it's another cool addition. So uh, the third change that was made to this is, as I mentioned earlier, there is now only one, st there's only one stone for each side in terms of getting your uh, DK square points. So that is a major change. Uh, the fourth change is that there is no more talking at the center stone. Uh, for some reason right now, uh, you never get the ability, no matter how many points you have, to talk at the center to try to uh, win faster. Uh, once again, I don't know if this is something that is going to be changed or not, but uh, as of right now, there is no talking anymore in DK Square. Uh, the fifth change is that boss monsters, uh, sorry, boss monsters spawn, uh, which is new, and they have the ability to drop Z coins and rank up coins. In addition to the boss monster spawning, uh, there is also a stone buff that spawns as well. And I'm going to provide a map uh, for you guys here. This map was provided to me by uh, Madara Sun, uh, uh, Madara, our, man, I'm sorry that I'm probably messing up your name. I think, I think it's Madara Sun, uh, but it was provided once again by him, so thank you so much for that. Uh, but the uh, monsters, like I said, drop Z coins and rake up coins, and the stone buff itself uh, gives you a lot of different buffs. Uh, one even includes 40% PvP damage, uh, which is insane. So that is really cool. Uh, so the sixth change is that daily quests are inside of DK Square now, and those daily quests will give you Z coins. Now, uh, the Z coins that you get from your daily quests are not tradable. However, um, number uh, or an, an, another thing that I'm going to talk about is that. Uh, the Z coins that you get from playing, which you will also get Z coins from playing, uh, those ones are actually tradable. Sorry, I, I got a little confused there. So the ones from the quests are not tradable. They are bound, but the ones that you get for playing, uh, depending on how you do it, it's like a placement system. Whoever does the best, I think it's up to four Z coins, uh, but those ones are actually tradable. So some people can buy uh, tradable things, which is cool. Uh, so I actually covered seven and eight there, uh, but we will... Moving to number nine, and there is now an MP, MVP buff. And if you are doing well uh, killing people, you'll get this little star over your head. And that buff uh, does a whole bunch of different things similar to the EGIT, EGIT, IGIT buff. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, but once again, you can get up to 40% damage, which is just insane and very strong. Um, uh, the tenth change that you're going to see is that everyone has the same costume and look now, which I actually really like. Uh, because it makes it so you can't see the gear that the other player has or even know what their name is. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, depending on the side you're on, you'll either get blue DK wings or red DK wings. And then the uh, 11th change, oh, was the stone buff that I already talked about. And then the 12th change, which is the final change that I'm going to talk about in this video, is that uh, it, DK Square is now only open during certain times and now requires uh, at least 10 players to start. So... Uh, I will, I'll, I'll put the times for the uh, new change up on the screen here. But yeah, so now DK Square is not open all day long. Uh, hopefully this will actually make it more active because, you know, people will look forward to going to it at a certain time. And I think I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, I think these changes that were made to DK Square are actually pretty awesome. Uh, it definitely seems more fun now. And they uh, kind of made the map a little bit smaller. You'll see that it's, it's, it's like the same type of map. It's just darker and smaller. 
So uh, that's cool, but I think it gives it a fresh new look and makes it kind of exciting to play. Uh, I know that I can't compete in the high-end DK square. There's no way. I just don't have the gear for it. But uh, maybe at some point I'll make a 179 DK character and I'll get on on that. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.